Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I received a package and that's great. So let's see what is inside and I have here my winter Christmas Victorinox knife and because whenever I receive a package from Apple Boom it seems like Christmas and so I think it's appropriate. Now let's just open it and see what we have inside. Okay, the plastic is off. Let's see now the box. Let me check the other side. I bet I'm opening these on the wrong side, on the bottom instead on, of the top. That's what I usually do. Now let's take a look. Actually, I know about what is here, or at least a part of it. It looks too much stuff for what I talked with Joost, but let's see, maybe not. So, he sent me another one of these little notebooks, which is nice. There is here the letter that I think it has the... It's the generic letter where he says thank you for your for shopping at Apple Boom, this was not a, a purchase, this is, these are just items for review. Now, this is not the most important thing in a package from Apple Boom, but almost, the scoop waffle. I always enjoy this little stuff a lot. Okay, but this is not really about pens. This is. So, let's see what we have here. As I told you, I know because I sent Yost an email and said, okay, there are interesting stuff that I would like to review. And he agreed and sent me that. So I asked for two pens and he sent me two pens. Now I will zoom in a little bit and let's see what we have. Okay. Now we are closer to the to the stuff. Let me put this light here a little brighter. Maybe it will help, maybe not. And let's check what we have here. It all comes well packaged. This is how you'll find stuff if you buy if you buy from Apple Boom. This is a nice paper with feathers. I don't know why I'm being so careful, because... <sighs> Never mind, I'll just rip the package. And here we have one of the pens. And as you may see, let me take this away for to keep the exposure of the video okay. So this is a Lamy pen, as you may see. And now let's check inside. And this is a beautiful pen. What we have here is the Lamy Ion with, I'm not sure how this color, how this is called, dark green. And this Lamy Ion is a very beautiful pen. It's a very, 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 very nice color. I really like it. it this is the Apple Boom color. I would say it could almost be a, a special edition for Apple Boom. Attention, it's not. It's just a regular edition, but it is really, really nice. It doesn't come with a converter as it is usual with Lamy. It has this kind of nib that is slightly different from the nib of the Safari. And I think this pen is really beautiful with the metal construction uh, with this green finish and it is all green except for the nib and the clip even the section has the same color I love the matte feel of this pen I think this is beautiful 
and I think I'll get to buy this pen from Apple Boom. Actually, I asked for an F because if I try it and I like it, I, I guess I will keep it. So I will buy from him di directly this pen instead of sending it back. It has no ink cartridge inside and that's not so nice from Lamy. It's Is it a problem? No. Really it isn't because I have lots of Lamy cartridges around or converters or... Actually I only have one Lamy converter but I have cartridges around so there will be no problem uh, to fill this but... Let's see the other packaging. And this one is a little bit more expensive. I don't, I don't really know why I start always opening stuff with the knife because I end up ripping the paper all the time. So I have here the the other pen inside this box, and I am sorry because I don't really know the exact var variation number of the, the model because this one I asked, can you send me the green one? It is the special edition of Lamy for this year of 2021. So I asked specifically for these with that nib. This one I just asked, can you please send me a Lamy dialogue for review? And I don't know which color or which nib he sent. So it will be nice. Okay, a dark matte black, which is quite nice. So this is the pen. This, this has a very beautiful gold nib. It has a mo little mark there. I'm not sure, maybe it's just a little bit of some dirty stuff. This is a beautiful pen. I never had a Lamy dialogue in my hands, so it's very heavy and very girthy. This one comes with this part, a cartridge box. I don't really know what this part is for. I guess I will find out. And we have the instructions here. So this one has Lamy refills that I can use for this pen or even for the other one. So I'm really interested in this pen. I never used one, so it's real. This is all new to me. I will have to check the name of the exact name of the model, the exact name of the color. I would say it is matte black, but I have to check that. I don't really know, and sometimes this is kind of a, a blind uh, way of receiving stuff. Okay, I think this unscrews here. Yes and we take the nib out and this is a medium nib and it is a gold one let me see if I can focus this so very beautiful very interesting I will use it I will test it and I will eventually make um, also a comparison video between this pen and the Pilot Capless because I think it will be interesting or even the uh, Pilot Fermo because the Pilot Fermo has the same kind of twist action to um, put the nib out so I'm really happy with this now you can see the nib perfectly so this was a very very nice um, package from Apple Boom. I will review the pens and I will send them back or purchase this one, I'm not sure. And so this was, this is great. It's always nice to have new pens to test. So these lines align there, but if you rotate it a little bit more, they get out of alignment. I guess this will take a little bit of work if one is more obsessive about these details. Okay, never mind. 
This is what I got for review, so thank you so much for watching the video, thank you Yoast for sending me this nice stuff and to because of your support you give me this opportunity to review pens that otherwise I wouldn't be able to buy. Uh, at least I have to make some choices. If I buy some pens I don't have budget to buy them all. This one was on my try list. I would like to try this pen. I didn't want that much to have this pen and to pay for it, so it's really really nice to have the chance of testing them and to have a support of a quite nice and big store. So, again, this is all for today. I hope you liked this video and please stay tuned because I'll be back for more videos and for the reviews of these two little, not so little pens. Bye!